It's so great to see so many of our colleagues out in the audience today, Republicans and Democrats. It's also absolutely awesome to see the speaker and our Republican and Democrat leader in the House here today to honor and celebrate the lives of those we lost in our Commonwealth. And if I can just lighten it up for a second, it's also great from being outnumbered by Pirates fans on the stage. It's very good to see you wearing your Phillies red today. On the front of this podium is the symbol of the Fraternal Order of Police. A lot of people in Harrisburg see that as the potential lobbyist or bargaining unit for police in Harrisburg when there's legislation done. We all have a chance to see it many different ways. You'll really get to see what the Fraternal Order of Police is about when you head down to D.C. in a few weeks and go through a very trying time. Last year, I had the honor and privilege to go down with Corporal Koval from the Pennsylvania State Troopers Association. And what I witnessed in the couple days I was there was some of the most moving times of my life. The Fraternal Order of Police is not just there pushing for legislation or pushing for contracts. The Fraternal Order of Police is a family. And unless you're a member of that family, you'll never know the full scope of their support and their love for the membership. The Fraternal Order of Police is the only organization that is with their members at the highest moment of their career to the lowest moment where we are today. At some point in your loved one's career, they said to you, I want to be a police officer. At some point in their career, they graduated the police academy. And every day since, there's probably never been a day where you were up at night worrying about the calls that you have all received last year. Let me just say this. To the best we can, we understand. To the best we will, we will legislate to protect you, to protect the families of the loved ones, and to protect our police, who aren't a convenience, but an absolute necessity on the street. And it is a necessity for elected officials to do more than give the speeches that we give, but to stand up for the biggest family in this country that protects every single right we have as Americans. Again, on behalf of the House, I'm so very sorry for your loss. I wish you safe travels to D.C., and I hope you can take those amendments in and recognize that the fraternal order of police will never forget. Let's uh, present this citation or resolution unanimously adopted by the House.